What's up guys, it's time. We're finally gonna be putting some stuff on the screen and working on the user interface. So what I want you to do is open up the components and first go into main. We're just gonna do a quick thing real quick in the render. And the container, I wanna make it text. This makes it a little bit skinnier. And then I just wanna remove this link and change this to to-dos. Um, you can call yours whatever. All right, next we're gonna be working on the home. We're gonna be using two functions or UI components from Semantic UI, input and list. UI React. Okay. Now we're gonna do some stuff in the constructor. The first thing is when the page loads, what we'd like to do is we would like to show all the items um, that we have and stored in the database. So if you remember, we created an action for that. It was called find all items. And we don't need to pass any parameters. It was just like that. The next thing is we want to have a state for our uh, input bar, which is what we're going to type in to create text. Uh, or to create items. Um, and then we're going to have two functions, call, one called handle key down, um, and we're just going to bind it so we can use this, and then another function called list item, which we will make in one moment. Okay, next we're going to do some stuff in the render function. I'm just going to create a div to wrap everything. At the very top, I'm going to have an input. This input's going to be fluid, so it stretches um, the whole screen. And we're going to just make a placeholder. I'm going to say what needs to be done. And then I'm going to create or set the value is going to be equal to this.state.text. And then on change, we're going to create a lambda function to update the state. This.set state. And we just say text is equal to e.target.value. Um, and then on key down, we're just going to be listening for. Uh, when they're pressing keys. That way, if they press the enter key, we know to actually add an item to the to-do list. Okay, the next is the actual list. So it's gonna be divided. This is just some styling, um, relaxed. And then size, I want it to be massive. And then vertical. Vertical align is equal to middle. And then, just gonna close that off. What are the actual items? Well, we're gonna get something from the props, the items. Now, this we actually haven't added to the props yet. We'll be doing that in the next video. This is getting, uh, we'll assume all the items are there. Um, and there's something called all, which is just a list of all the items, and then we'll map it. This dot list item. Okay, now let's create the list item and the handle down. So create handle key down first, handle key down. Um, and then that's just going to pass in an event. And the first thing we're going to check is if they do the enter key. So we'll just create a little comment for ourselves. If e.keycode is not equal to 13, then we don't care. 13 is the key code for the return. But if they did hit return, we'd first like to prevent the default behavior. And then we're going to get the text, which is equal to this.state.text. And we just want to trim all the white space. And we're going to check to see if text actually um, 
has stuff inside of it or if they just left it blank. And if there actually is, what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a new item. So props.createItem. That was the function that we added in there earlier. And we're going to create an item with the text um, equal to text and the complete equal to false. Um, and this should be a comma. And if you haven't seen uh, ECX ES6, um, the new JavaScript features, text is equal to text. Those are equivalent. Okay, so after we do that, we would like to then just set the state and make text equal to nothing to kind of clear out the input. Okay, and then we're just going to do our um, list item. List item. Um, this is going to take two parameters, the item itself and then the position. This will return And what we're going to be returning is list.item, key is equal to i, list.content. And then inside of this, we also need one more content, list.content. And this is going to be floated to the right. This will be our little icon. So list the icon for deleting. Um, and we can make it red like that and then name is equal to remove that will give us the red X that we want and then on click so what would like to happen when it's clicked we would like it to be deleted so we'll create a lambda function this dot props dot remove item that's something we created and what do we need to pass it the ID item dot ID will give that to us um, and then we can just close that off. And then here we can close the content. List.content. And then down below we're going to create one more list content. List.content. Um, and this is going to have the class name of. We're checking if the item is complete or not. And if it is, uh, then we create, give it the complete class. If not, um, we'll give it the active class. Um, this is just for styling purposes, which will create a little style for it. And then we also need an on click because if they click the item, um, we need to update it and show that it's now been complete. They've checked off the to-do list. Um, so we're going to call update item. Um, and what are we going to pass to this? We first need to pass the ID of the item we're updating. So that's item ID. And we're creating a new object um, uh, with the updated text. Or, well, the text will be the same, but what's going to be changing is whether it's complete or not. And it's just going to be the inverse. So item, so the opposite of item.complete. And I think that is matching everything. Oh, we just need to add that guy right there. So what that's doing right there is twofold. So we have a class that's checking whether it's complete or not. If it's complete, it gives it the complete class name. This will do a strike through it. And then when this is clicked, this is the actual text itself. Um, I'll just let me just fill this in real quick that might make more sense so we have text here and then list.content and then list.content and then list.item okay just close off all those tags okay so what I was saying is when they click on the item text um, what we'd like to do is we would like to check it off or check it on so what we're doing is we're updating an item. We pass the ID of the item that's being updated, and then we're creating a new item uh, to replace the old item. The new item is the exact same, except it's the opposite of the complete. It's either now been completed or it's incomplete, um, and so you just inverse it this way. So this sets up the uh, just the basics uh, UI component. 
there's one last thing that's not working um, that we're going to be fixing in the next video and that's we actually don't have this items down here at the bottom um, right here we need to actually add these and actually do stuff when the action change the state so in the next video we'll be working on that